Thank you, Jacob. Some signs of improvement in Fort Myers today as crews continue to work overtime to turn the lights back on and clear away debris left behind by Hurricane Ian. But there was still a lot more work to do. WBZ's Anna Myler just spoke with one of the leaders of the FEMA task force, which is based in Beverly and is on the ground right now in Florida. I've got a overturned vehicle right behind me here. Jay Moultonbray gives us a glimpse of the destruction at Fort Myers Beach, one of the areas hit hardest by Hurricane Ian. It's pretty much total devastation down here. There are very few, uh, if any, tenable structures. There's no running water. There's no electricity. Molten Bray is leading a task force from New England. The group of 46 people and three dogs deployed from Beverly, Massachusetts to Florida last weekend. They've been stationed at Fort Myers Beach conducting targeted searches. On our first day, we encountered uh, a gentleman who stayed because his neighbors were elderly and they didn't want to leave. We were able to facilitate and get them off the island. CBS News confirms 127 deaths related to Hurricane Ian. It's now the second deadliest storm to hit the U.S. this century. Moulton Bray has been part of the task force since 2005 and has responded to about a dozen disasters. He says this is the worst damage he's ever seen. It is devastating. You know, you know that the people that that uh, reside here and live here and make their living here are, are going to be uh, devastated for the for years, not not just days or months. But what his team has also witnessed this week is how strong Floridians are and how they're coming together to support one another. The people of Florida are amazingly resilient. The ones that we've run into, um, I, I know that I could not stay out here and I'm kind of trained to uh, in these living conditions. Neighbors taking care of neighbors in the harshest conditions. Moulton Bray says residents are very grateful for their help and support. The task force's deployments typically last for two weeks. They're not sure yet if they'll be asked to stay longer. Anna Myler, WBZ News.